So now you understand the routing of an application, or at least I tried to explain the routing of an application. Let's try and add our first controller. So we have these controllers, of, uh, sorry, we have these controllers available here in our application. The home controller is the one we just played around with. Why do we want it our own? We want a person controller, right? So as default, Microsoft said, well, we want the controller to be placed inside the controllers folder. So we'll add a new controller to that folder by right clicking it and saying add and saying controller, the top one. And it'll pop up and say, what kind of controller do you want? And today we're just going to do a simple empty controller. If we had a model, we could actually ask the application to build an entire setup for us. Mwah. We'll do that later, but not right now. We'll just have an empty controller. So we select that and we say add, and then it asks for the name. You can't put in a name until you've decided what controller you want. Now the controller should be called person controller in my case. That's what I want. I'll say add, and notice it says I'll skip fold it for you. Now what kind of controller do you want here? Let's just make it very simple. We'll just return a string. Just as something as basic as a string that says, hello, hello dudes, hello dudes. No, 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 hello dudes. That's all it says, nothing else. I'll save this and that's all I had to do. Now I have the person controller with an actual index behind it. So let's start and run, try to run the application again. And if the routing works as I told you last lesson, I should be able to say server name slash person. Notice it says person controller right here. So slash person and then nothing else because then it would default to the index one and it should return Hello dudes! Let's see if it actually works. We'll write localhost slash person and nothing else. And we go. And I'll press enter. And let's see if it actually hits that route. When it just needs to start up, you know that. I'll make my uh, game face while we wait. 40 seconds later, got you! We have a text string that popped back. So what actually ha happened? Well, we if, if using this diagram, we kind of send slash person slash and then just nothing because we default to add index, back to the server, create a web page. In our case, we just return text. Like I told you, you can return so many things from an ASP.NET application. And then we returned that and showed it on the page on your browser. Now it was just basic text. So let's just do this again. This time let's open the developer tools just to show you what actually happened. And this time let's also add a breakpoint inside this action right here. And let's try and do it again. We'll get into actions in the next lessons, but I'm going to hit the default route, Bajumi. I hit the person controller, the index. I return a string saying, hello dudes. If I go back here and I press, sorry, if I press continue to move forward in the application, hello dudes is printed here, but you'll also notice if I go down here and expand this guy, the response is actually hello dudes, right? So it's that simple. I just made my first controller. Weeha! Next time we'll look into how we'll actually add our own actions inside that controller. See you next time.